I know. Put the million dollars in the safe. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Come on in. Doo -doo. So. Y'all clicked on the damn video. You already know what's going on here. I'm not gonna fill this up with any fluffer or additives. We're gonna get right into it. Everyone talking about the Lil Nas X and the shoes and the Satan and the that. Noah just told me that anyone who's posted a video about the shoes that came out, it has like, people just go and dislike the video. So that doesn't really make a lot of sense because it's you shouldn't interact with the video that you don't like because it's gonna push it more. That's why they're getting millions of views. <laughs> Like all the people who are hating on it, all this stuff, if you actually hate it, don't like stream it or tell people about it because then more people are gonna listen to it and, he, and the person who you don't like is gonna get more money and more notoriety. But hey, what do I know? We got them. Um, we, we got the shoes. How'd you get them? I know a guy who, who knew this guy, 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 who was friends with Miley Cyrus's manager. We got the shoes. These are, I believe, a size seven, not my size. You know, you guys know I wear a size like 15 because I have a big, um, like whatever. Comes in this case, thousand dollars for retail. You know, someone told me there was like a bid for fifteen thousand dollars for one of them. It's, I think it's gonna be even more than that. I can't think of another shoe that has caused this much buzz other than like the Galaxy foam posits. No, it was what ten a, years ago. What a Concords when they first, I don't know, came out. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Oh. People getting triggered right now. People are at their thing, like screaming and fighting. Who's mad at this? Christians or who's mad at these? Anybody religious? Anybody religious? I think that must be it. Well, they'll let you know on this video. They'll, they'll let me know. Again, I'm just showing the product. <laughs> what does it say? Pre-release. Oh, we, we got the real exclusive. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh is that right there? Look at that. We got the little upside down. Oh, oh yeah, y'all are scared right now. <sighs> Holy crap. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Luke 10, 18. I don't know what that means, but cool. And then here we have the devil oh, carrying, oh. looks like Jesus away. I don't know what that's from. I know nothing. Here's the shoes. Wow. Whoa. Let's put this in the damn light. Should have clipped my fingernails. I swear to God, I'm not this dirty, but look at, look at the quote unquote blood or liquid in the thing. That is insane. We do a little 360 here. Whoa. Okay, if this had no satanic stuff on it, are y'all rocking this? I think it's cool with the, with the water in there. Kind of crispy. Like, okay, what if these were God shoes? Would y'all be rocking it then? Can you, is that sacrilegious if you have a Ooh. biblical shoes? But they have Jesus sandals out. Yeah. And they call them Jesus sandals. If you have Jesus imagery on you, is that again? I don't know. Is this sacrilegious? Ooh. It's And aren't tattoos supposed to be we like? We should be safe right now, right? Yes. Oh, oh! They said that's how much they're going for, $1,018. Dude, go after the verse, the Bible verse. Wow. Look what the oh. thing you got the, on the tongue. You got the oh, damn, I don't know what that says in there. C-H-F-S-M, I don't know. Oh, Mischief. And then you got the suede custom. So these aren't an official Nike club. Whoever Mischief or whoever ordered 666 pairs of these, probably more. And, uh made these. These are all custom, whatever, handmade or mm. whatever. Do you believe there's a drop of blood? I think that that's caperoni and it's like a cool marketing tactic to be like, one drop of blood. But like, bro, it's just red water paint. Still, it's still crazy looking. He's probably going to go for $20,000. Yeah, it's like, tw like More. air mags, like crazy. Just going to go crazy. With the box here, we got the, I mean, look at the detail in this demonic package. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. oh trigger yeah. warning. Lil Nas X holding this shoe, too. Lil Nas X holding it. This is one of a kind pre-release shoe. Oh, shit. This is a one of a kind pre-release shoe from Mischief and Lil Nas X. You are the only person in the world with this unique number. We hope you hate it. Signed, Mischief and Lil Nas X. We got the one of one here. This is different from the other 666. I'm sure you got some good angles of that. Anything on the, oh Lord, the damn. I don't even want to take my time to read that, but wow. Now here's my thing. I don't think that this is about a devil worshiping, or I don't think that Lil Nas is a devil worshiper. It's more a symbolic statement piece, but it's a, a controversial one at that. Hate it or love it, I'm holding it. Oh God. Noah's so, got him. <laughs> the fact that Ryan was able to get a pair of these is insane. Like this, even a size seven, this is a kid size, which is gonna go for crazy amounts. You gotta be careful because is the value going down the more I touch them? I don't think so, as long as you don't crease the hell out of them like I did in the one video. <laughs> 
I wonder right here if every one of them says this or does it go up like I they, yeah. they all say what's two, okay. three, four. Oh, they do? Yeah. You got the first one. Yep. One out of six, six, six. Ain't nobody ain't no other you YouTuber. Got the, oh, so it probably starts at small sizes and then higher up eight nine. I bet you these are one of the most valuable pairs being as how they're really. Wait, you really got the the first one of the six hundred and sixty six. First one. Oh, this is bigger than I thought. That's what she said. Ha. Comes in this whole camera gear case equipment. Jeez, I thought when I carried cameras on in college, this is huge. It's a little postcard on this little guy. Satan shoes. <laughs> Trigger warning. <laughs> Contains 600 cc ink and one drop of human blood. Not sure about that. Can you do that? Can you really do that? Like, yeah. Is that medically say like allowed? Interesting. Oh, what's up? I don't know anymore, guys. It's actually kind of dope. The Move. heck? Ah. Move. <laughs> New member to the family. Shout out to my mom. She actually noticed we didn't have any paper towel holders, so she brought a couple. Hey. I think that's pretty dope. Shout out, mom. Shout out, mom. It works though. Look at it. I got it from the paper towels. It's not actually a cow. It's actually a paper towel holder, if you didn't know. Thoughts on the Oreo O's? I've tried them. They're good. But I know that I will probably be addicted to them, like Ryan's. That's why I don't try to eat them. Let me have one right now. He gets mad. Whoa, my mouth is happy about that. <laughs> Pause. I actually haven't slept for like the past few days because like I had to upload a new video because there's a brand deal in it. And my room's a mess. So if you haven't seen my new video, run it up. Run it up. Check it out. Say the vlog sent you. If YouTubers were honest, I'm trying to expand on the whole honest series on my channel. So go check it out. Let me know your thoughts. And I'm going to go clean my room. Yo, guys, quick question to any doctors out there or people that know how to take care of your body. So I've been running a lot recently and like a lot of mileages, like five to 10 miles on these runs. I don't know. What the hell? Yeah, I'm runner. I'm just running. And today was the first, I guess, injury I had. I was running and then my knee went like, whoop, went weak. Uh, behind my knee right here, the two little bands, whatever you want to call these things. Tendons? Tendons, very sore and uncomfortable to say the least. And I've heard about taking a bath with Epsom salt and that could help, but I, I don't know. If anybody else that runs or has had injuries or muscle aches, it's not a sprain, it's not the bone isn't hurt, it's just the back of the knee and it's uncomfortable. I would just like to recover a little faster. So tips and tricks for me in the comments, pray for me and let me know what I can do to solve this ASAP. Splinters, sprained my right foot a couple months ago. God damn, man. One like equals one get well soon for no above. I wanna do something now. When I post Instagram pictures, like I'm tired of asking questions as all my captions. If you guys go to my Instagram page, it's a trivia page. <laughs> like if you are ever on a date, I think Rob said this in one vlog, and you don't know what to say, just scroll through my Instagram and you'll have plenty of questions to ask your date. My Instagram crush followed me back a couple days ago. And I was like, oh shoot, I need y'all to gas me up now when I post Instagram pictures. So maybe the hard eyes, maybe the guys can do fires, the girls can do hard eyes. I just wanna make sure if I post a picture and she sees it, she's like, oh, all these hundreds of people think he's cute. Maybe I'll DM him. I don't know. I just try to impress my Instagram crush. Spam every post with emojis for me. That'd be great. Other than that, I get no engagement if I don't ask a question. So. Any last words, Rob? I don't think so. Stay tuned for more vlogs because we're actually gonna go crazy. See this right here? This is the 100K Lovester vlogs. You got a spot right here for the mill. So we'll see. And we are gonna be doing reaction videos on this channel a lot more now. So if you guys can just comment down below which videos we should react to or things we need to check out, let us know. And games. Uh, Rob's more of a gamer than me, but I wanna like, I wanna just have me trying certain games for the first time. I would just love to fail and make a Fool of myself. If you want to see that? Comment down below. We got the setup. We, we got. We can play some games. Don't all suggestions. That. They can't be as bad as those tattoo submissions. So please, oh, I shouldn't say that. That's <laughs> what I mean. I don't know. I looked at some of them too. It was ridiculous. It was. Yeah. Like, the last one I clicked on was a guy in a penis costume. I was. Like, I think it's fair to say that. Okay. Yeah. So we'll try again on that next time. But love y'all and. See you next time. I'm gonna try to get one trick shot before I go to bed. That's usually my nightly routine. Today we're going for the bounce on the chair. Wait, what? <laughs> Into the hoop. Lopez posted up. See, it's part of the trick. So it goes, comes back to me, then I make Lopez posted up. Unbelievable! Good night.